Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to create and execute a work from the generated C or C++ code coming from MATLAB for an algorithm that uses the computer vision toolbox to track a face in a, in a video. Okay, I'm not going to give uh, details about the video to track a face. Uh, in, in summary, it uses a cascade object detector point tracker using the Lucas Thomas uh, Canada Thomas C algorithm and also the minimum agent value and some transform to a transform that basically applies a fine transfer based on the point changes between frames to, to the rotation scaling and translation. All, the, all of the, those details are, there, are described in another video in the reference uh, in the links on the description of this video. You can click it for more details, but I'm going to focus on the process of creating that executable that runs outside a uh, MATLAB. And also, there's another link in the description uh, of this video that shows how to generate code that is compiled into a MEX file that is run within MATLAB. And that, that is very good for making sure that your generated code works because you can quickly uh, compare the numerical results between the simulation and code generation in MATLAB. But once uh, your generated code is tested and is working, usually you want to deploy it outside of MATLAB. So that's the purpose of this video, creating that uh, executable outside of the MATLAB environment. And for that, uh, I'm going to use uh, this example, which uses the pack and go, which is a function that executes executes in the post congen command. So what that's going to do is going to pack all the code generation artifacts and it's going to put it into a C file. So in this example, we're going to create a make file and a bad file that is going to build everything outside MATLAB and then uh, run the executable. Okay, so uh, to start, uh, we just open the script and that'll take us uh, to MATLAB. Okay, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Okay, that, they, that will take us here, and the function that we're gonna compile is this one uh, that uses the cascade object detector, the minimum agent value features to get the initial points that are used to initialize the point tracker. And then uh, the point tracker gives you the next points, and from the previous and current points, you determine the geometric transform, and that transform is used to uh, apply the fine transformation to the bounding box, and you just play it in the video player. So that's how we track the face. Uh, again, uh, there's a video uh, in the links on the description that gives details on this algorithm. I'm just gonna run it uh, so that you can see how how it looks. Uh, it basically applies the transformation which can include scaling, translation, and rotation. And notice some points get lost, but most of them are are kept by the point tracker. So that's the algorithm that we're gonna work on. And this is uh, where we're gonna generate the executable. Uh, okay. So first uh, we're gonna generate uh, the, the code using the pack and go uh, functionality. So this is the name of the of the file. Uh, Okay, so uh, these are the folders that we are, and this is going to be the file name to find the, the file that we just run. This is the entry point, the file that I just went through. Okay, so let's create the code gen arguments. That's for MATLAB coder. And we need a, a main C file. To create this executable, we need a main C file. And that main C file is only basically going to call the, the function that MATLAB Cover provides. And also notice that there's an underscore initialize and terminate. So MATLAB uh, uh, basically provides these functions. I understand that it should be for doing some pre processing and then clean up after. Notice that there's no input and no output parameters. So, like AMEX, uh, AMEX is ready to handle inputs and outputs, but this one doesn't because it's going to uh, run outside MATLAB. Okay. So yeah, so we have the, the main file, and now uh, we're going to create the configuration. In the example for creating the max file, which is in the links of the description of this video again, uh, the color config takes max in here, but we're creating executable, so we're passing exit. Then we uh, uh, create the post conject command, uh, which is basically a command that is executed after MATLAB coder finishes generating the C, C++ code. 
So this is a function provided by MATLAB and notice that one of the arguments is info. This is an object that is created by MATLAB coder after code generation completes and these are some configuration for it. Okay, so you can see in here uh, the documentation for that and you can find additional documentation by hitting doc and like this. Okay. Okay, so again, uh, now uh, we pass the main C file, uh, file, which is this file here that we provide, and also the folder where it is, which is our current folder. And we are not going to use OpenMP. OpenMP is good for parallelization of generated code, but we're not going to use it in this example. So we pass this configuration as the cogen arguments. So that's what we return from this function. and. We're going to place our code generation artifacts in the cogen folder within the folder that we are right now. So we're going to create it. We make beer. We're not going to create the folder here. And now uh, we are going to change our path to basically because we're going to include uh, some path, uh, which is the path where, that we are right now. So we store the previous path in here and with this cleanup we pass a callback that once uh, this variable gets clean after we finish the example then it's going to recover the original path and that is to avoid leaving any rule behind and again also the current directory we change the code folder that we just created we cd to there and then on cleanup once this variable goes, goes out of scope this function is going to be called to return to the directory that we were before. And you're going to see this pattern all over the place in this example. Okay. So, first, uh, now we're going to invoke cogen. Cogen is the malloc cover command. Like in the previous example, to create a max file, it's the same command. Uh, but, uh, but we passed the configuration that we just created, which is the dash config and the configuration itself. And the file name that we're going to compile, which is the entry point M file, the M file that we saw in here to do the algorithm, the computer vision algorithm. So let's uh, run it. And this is going to generate the artifacts in another cogen folder within. You're going to see all the C, C++ files in there. And you're going to see the executable uh, that is going to be able to run, but that's not the one we want. We want to compile it ourselves with the artifacts isolated from the cogeneration environment. Uh, but in addition to that, we provided a post congen command that is going to uh, uh, basically create a zip file with all the artifacts that and those artifacts are the ones that we're going to use. So I'm going to pause until this finishes. Okay, terminó de general código y como... Uh, sorry, I changed my language. Uh, Okay, it, it finished generating code, and we have the zip file, and we're going to uncompress it. Uh, yeah, well, the first step is uncompressing it. And this should have all the artifacts. Uh, we have three sub uh, zip files, so we're, we're going to see in a moment what they contain. Okay, but uh, before we go there, uh, I'm going to just show that we can, at this point, uh, run this executable file. Okay, so... We're going to run the executable, it's just a exclamation sign to go to the terminal and this exclamation sign or you can do this or use system with the string of the kernel, uh, I mean the executable file and so it's running. So we're going to do the same but compiling everything from the artifacts. Okay, it's still running. Okay. I'm gonna pause until finish. Okay, finished. Okay, so let's un uh, unzip this, uh, the zip file. Okay, so that's the location where it is, uh, which is the folder that we are right now. And we're gonna unzip the contents, which basically we're gonna create a folder for it. And we're gonna zip everything in there, which is basically the three zip files. And now we're gonna take uh, these just dear commands and we're gonna go one by one and unzip them. It's not worth going into the details of this. And eventually you're gonna see this is important. This is the 2000, uh, this is the MATLAB code uh, because in order to be able to execute this outside of MATLAB, you need the computer vision dependency. So this is toolbox vision and it only has the parts that you need. 
to be able to run this outside MATLAB. So we keep uh, unzipping and now uh, we have another folder which is the main file, the main that we provided. And finally, uh, we have the code folder. So we have the code generation artifacts, we have the MATLAB dependencies, and we have the main file that we provided. So th all those three are the ones that you need to create your executable independent of MATLAB. Okay, so we unzip. Now we're going to create a make file. And okay, so this is the name of the uh, M file that we from which we build code from. So we're gonna enter here to create the max the make file. Uh, first, uh, we need a uh, the build info. Build info is a very important structure. It's the one that was passed uh, to pack and go, and you will be able to find it in the executable. What you can see here is part of the artifacts that Mala code provides. It's, it provides you uh, information in the Mala environment about the cogeneration process okay so let's change directory again you can see that once we get out of the scope of this function we're going to come back to the previous folder and this function uh, is going to get the MATLAB uh, folder uh, which is basically this one and it's going to find it by looking for toolbox and vision so that logic is implemented down here you can see uh, you can go to a, a the article for this example in the description links of this video to see more details and you can pause here but I'm not going to go in details because that's all it does it's going to just find uh, this folder by looking for toolbox and vision outside of it so yeah this is the MATLA folder and then uh, we are going to from the building for we're going to get the defines and it's quite confusing so basically, it is a, a, a function handle that is going to take a cell array and it's going to concatenate it into a string with spaces, which doesn't make sense in this case because we only have one element, but we're going to do it anyway. So this is a method from building for, uh, yeah, so this is basically a, an argument for compilation that indicates the entry point function. Yeah, the, the reason why I don't like this way of calling things is because you might think, okay, this get defines is a function that is defined in this example, or is a MATLAB function, or who knows where it comes from. But uh, just by looking at this, you know that it's already a method of build info. Okay, so let's concatenate all of this, which is only one. So th this is all we're getting here. It's just basically a flag uh, for the compression process. And now, uh, what we're doing here is collecting information for making the make file. Uh, the make file, uh, this example, let's go back here, provides a template for Windows and Unix. Unix should be used, uh, used for Mac and, and, and Linux. Okay, so this is the make file. So since the example provides it, you have to make it on your own. Again, you can copy it from this example. Uh, you can pause to this video to look at the details. So it's gonna this file is gonna have placeholders, and those placeholders are gonna ch be changed by information we provide, which is the flag, one of the, this flag right here, and the source file, the C and C++ source file. So here's where the C and C++ files are compiled using the the compiler. It's CC should be the compiler. It defines somewhere around here, and then the source files are defined in somewhere around here. Here, uh, source files. You you paste the source files in here, and we're gonna do regex to place them there. Okay. So this I'm curious about the C compiler. Uh, CL is the C compiler. Okay. Should be defined. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, we just go. Uh, Use the system command, the direct, uh, the dir command from Windows to find all the C files and C++ files, and we're gonna go and concatenate them. So we're gonna accumulate the here by adding space between them in a single string. So so far we have three of them. So this is how it's gonna look. Notice that uh, the main file that we provided is there and some C artifacts. Uh, this is geometric transform in morphology algorithm. This is from computer vision. And this is to determine the affine transform between successive points in, uh, that the point tracker produces. 
So we're gonna just jump in here because there's a lot of files and C++ is gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna jump in here and there are not that many C++ files. There are more C files. Okay, so we concatenate both together. Both of them are gonna go together. And now uh, the architecture is gonna be Windows 64 uh, DLL. And again, uh, this example was made uh, to work with Mac and Linux, but I just deleted everything that has to do with Mac and, and Linux. So we're working on Windows in this example. Okay. And okay, uh, so now uh, we're gonna open the, the make file. This is a template that I just showed. And we're gonna open it and get the content because we're gonna do reg apps uh, to it. And we're gonna replace all these placeholders with the corresponding values. So we have the architecture that we are gonna make a DLL. The, this is the flag uh, for the definitions for the compilation process. And this is the source files, the C and C++ files. And the MATLAB dear name, which is where MATLAB is. Uh, it is, should be, let me go back before I get in trouble. Okay. Okay, I am back to the directory where I'm supposed to be. You can see a MATLAB folder in here. Okay. And now uh, we're gonna create the make file. So this is the make file name, the new one. No, this is the old one. So we're gonna open the old one. So we open it and we write the content, which is the one that we did with the record and we close it. So now we, we should have our make file in here and notice that uh, we're going to have our bunch of source files in here. So we, it's good. Okay, so we created the make file and that's the name of the make file where we have it. And now we're going to create the build command. Okay, for the build command, uh, we need to copy the the, bat, the existing bat file. Uh, we don't have it in here in the pack and, pack and go did not create the bat file. But uh, there's a bat file in the in the regular uh, code that we generated. So if we go to example, uh, we can see in here that there's a. Let me go back just to yeah. Okay, so yeah, we were here. So if you go back one level here, this one doesn't have it. No, it's. Yeah, this one has, has it because uh, this is the generic code that was made uh, to build executable in MATLAB. But when we use pack and go, it's not going to be included. So we have to make our own. So we, we, we will copy it from there. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the location of the original one that we're going to copy it from. Okay, and, and here's the destination of it. So we're gonna open it, get the content of the bat file. It's a little bit small, let's just print it out. Well, you cannot see in, in there, but we're gonna see it in a moment. Okay, so we have the content. And we're gonna check if the, it has a setup for Microsoft Visual, Visual C. And it does, so we need to copy that file as well. So you're gonna see it uh, in here. Notice that we have that bat file. Uh, it should be, yeah, it's just for Microsoft Visual C. And now we copy the bat file to here as well. So now we have the bat file. So this area is quite small. It's just basically invoking the make file. That's it. Okay, so now uh, we are gonna copy the make file into a new make file. So the old file name is make file like this, and this is gonna be a new file name. So we're just gonna copy it, and that's it. I guess it's just, uh, he could just have a uh, rename it uh, because it's exactly the same file. Okay, so now the build command is just gonna be calling the batch file, and the run command is just calling the executable file, and he passes, for some reason, uh, this string is not necessary, you can, run the executable just by putting this name in the comma in the command line of your operating system that should be it okay 
so we have all the artifacts so all is left is running it so we're gonna cd again to this place where the artifacts are of the pack and go and we're just gonna do a system call of the read command which is nothing but a calling the bat file so notice a that before when we generate code for the first time we have an executable that was built within MATLAB but now we are using a bat file that is going to execute outside of MATLAB and if I if I go like this for example uh, I'm going to do a little experiment later I'm going to show later but uh, this, this is executing in the system this is executing in Windows so we're building the executable in Windows outside of MATLAB okay it's gonna take some time I'm gonna pause it go ahead and finish and we had an error for some reason okay I run the example from the beginning and back in the same place so I'm gonna run the batch file again again this is running in Windows to a system command it's gonna take some time Okay, finished. Uh, there's this time there was no errors, and the reason why it might have error last time is because uh, this example is very sensitive to the folders, and if you notice, I changed the folder a lot, uh, so that might have com confused uh, the scripts. So you have to be careful with changing folders here and there uh, while doing this. Okay, so I built the executable, so I changed to the location where the executable is. And I'm just gonna run it, and this is the command as you saw before. So I, that's con command through a system a fu a function is gonna be executed in Windows. Okay, so you can see here that it is running as a pretty good speed. Okay, and finally a, we're gonna just push the, the commands, I mean, uh, print out the commands to to run this. So, yeah, so we get the commands in here. So if we change in here to that folder, it takes us back in here, and we just have to run this system command, which is not necessary. I mean, uh, we just, uh, the this, uh, the exclamation sign is the same as system so you just call the executable and it's gonna run again and, and now I'm gonna try a, another thing a, first a, yes a, we use the system commands a, to make sure that a, we are a, building the executable and running it outside of MATLAB we did it but it looks better if we do it from the command prompt. So let's do it from the Windows command prompt directly. Let's just get rid of the OBJ files and get rid of the executable. So we're gonna build it again. And this time uh, we're gonna build it uh, in by, by basically opening the opening a. Okay, I'm gonna close this terminal. Uh, I'm gonna just run a terminal in Windows and change to the directory where our artifacts are and I'm gonna pick up the bat file name and I'm just gonna run it there oops doesn't want to pick it up there you go so this is gonna build everything and you, you will see here uh, the different artifacts, morphology, uh, the geometry, region of interest, all the computer vision artifacts are being compiled. It's gonna take some time. Okay, so we finally got the successfully generate all binary output. So we were able to compile it and we go back in here and we see all the artifacts again, the OBJ and also the executable. So we have the executable here. So let's take the name of the executable and also run it outside. So we just have to put the name in here and just run it. But I will get a bunch of errors uh, like this one uh, because I don't have uh, the OpenCV installed in my machine. I haven't installed it, so it's not gonna run there. 
but MATLAB uh, has a, uh, has OpenCV inside of it, so I can run it in here. Yeah, but it's running on the system. It's the same thing as doing this. So if I install a uh, OpenCV, then I should be able to run it. And you can see that uh, it is running the executable that I compile in the terminal window. So it's basically built it outside independent of MATLAB. I just need the OpenCV uh, dependency in my operating system. So that's it for the videos. Thank you very much for watching.